Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Carmine Sabia here for Explain America. And what is going on in the world? What's the biggest story in the world right now? It's Tucker Carlson, right? Tucker Carlson and Fox News and what's going on there. Now, I have my own theories, and I'm going to keep them to myself because they're just theories. But I will say that Tucker spoke his first words since being fired, and it's got the internet all abuzz. Before we get started, folks, I want to ask you to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That kind of stuff really helps us out and really helps our channel grow. I also want to ask you to please make sure, if you want to support our work, if you're watching on Facebook, send us a message with stars. If you're watching on YouTube, then just join our Patriots Club. You can click join below this video. It's only a dollar a month, and again, that really helps support our work, and we really do appreciate it, guys. Tucker Carlson was confronted by reporters from the Daily Mail. And the reporters asked him, what are you planning on doing? Now, you have to understand Tucker was leaving his beautiful palatial estate in Boca Raton. He was heading to dinner with his family when he was confronted by the reporters. So the first thing he said to them was, I'm enjoying retirement, in a joking manner. He was kidding with them. And then they asked him, you know, what are your future plans? And his answer was, appetizers, then an entree. So he's not giving, he's not tipping his hand, but, you know, there was something that comedian Russell Brand said on an episode of his podcast, I believe it was today, that actually struck a chord with me. See, Russian diplomat Sergei Lavrov suggested that the United States government had some kind of involvement with Tucker being taken off the air, considering how he spoke out against the war machine and the war going on between Ukraine and Russia. But... Tucker had also had guests on like RFK, and he's been a person who has been a skeptic of the pharmaceutical industry. And both of those things can make it very tough for a corporation like Fox if those two industries decide they don't want to support you. And and Russell Brand said something to that effect today, and I think he said he took it a little, a little further, and I think it goes back to why I was saying, you know, support us with stars or join our Patriots program, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's all that stuff because what he was talking about in this, and I'm going to show you the clip, is is how important independent media is. We're not beholden to these industries. We're beholden to you. You don't watch. The show's over, right? So we're beholden to telling you the truth. We're beholden to you. You guys are the boss of independent media. What we talk about are the topics you want to hear about. And we tell you the truth because we have to. We're beholden to you. You are the boss here. That's why these things are so important. It's why independent media is so important. And he believes that Tucker could wind up on independent media. And if you look at it, independent media does better ratings than traditional media. Our videos routinely get more watches than any CNN program. And you take Joe Rogan, Russell Brand, uh, people like that, and, and their ratings are astronomically higher than even the best cable television shows. So, you know, when, when you look at it that way, there's a, a shift coming towards independent media in this country and around the world, really. I'm going to let Russell Brand tell you about it. It also shows that the media is obsessed with itself. It's in a sort of narcissistic spiral reporting on its own perspectives, its own heroes and its own villains. What is the mainstream media supposed to be for? Just for a moment, Remind yourself that it's actually about giving you information about important stuff, like how the government are governing, about how corporations are behaving, the information that you need to live your life efficiently and effectively, so you're informed politically. It doesn't do that. You know it doesn't do that. You know that the mainstream media is owned by certain corporate interests. You know that it gets all of its revenue from like the pharmaceutical industry. You know that they're tied up with the military industrial complex, and you know that they support the state with only partisan distinctions between this party or that party defining their output. They do not serve in your awakening. They do not serve your empowerment. Where Tucker Carlson goes next will inform us a great deal about our political landscape. If he joins an independent news organization, that's going to be fascinating. It will demonstrate where the power is moving and it will show us why authoritarian centralized systems of power are doubling down on trying to censor, control, surveil, veil, prohibit, smear, destroy any alternative voices because they recognize that now we can all communicate instantaneously and challenge any narratives that they put forward. That's why they've become ultra propagandists. 
You know, it's surprising because Russell Brand, you'd figure a comedian, he's, you know, Hollywood, and he's none of those things. He is a guy who really just tells it like he sees it. And I think that's very important. I'm a big fan. I, I you know, wasn't particularly a fan of his comedy so much, but I'm a, I'm a fan of him, the person. And I tell you, I, I make it a point to watch his show as often as I can. And I would suggest others do the same. It's really good. Of course, when you're not watching this show, you watch this show first. I kid, I kid. But, you know, seriously, I, it's, it's good to watch independent media like you're doing right now. This is how you learn stuff, by watching different sources, not just us, different sources. Get your news. Don't let people tell you what to think. Think for yourself. And, you know, Tucker wasn't beholden to anybody. And I think he's the kind of voice we need in this country and around the world. And wherever he goes, it is going to make a gigantic difference. So I'd like to see him go independent and be his own boss. With that said, guys, again, remember to please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like I said, on Facebook, you can send us a message with stars. On YouTube, you can join our Patriots program for a dollar a month to support us. Again, you know, independent media is so important, just like Mr. Brand laid out. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.